Hello, my name is Troy White, I'm a financial educator, Hoodoo Financial. And to, today I'm here to tell you what time it is. Uh, not to rub it in your nose, but I did told you so about being prepared for financial catastrophe to occur. Um, so anyway, today I want to tell you it's time for you to start investing. It's time for you to start investing. If you have not, some people say, oh, I, I bought a stock. I buy a stock. You, know, you bought a stock here. You bought a stock there. I'm not even going to. I'm even talking to you, too. That's not investing. You learn how to buy the stock. Now, let's start investing. All right. Um, the fundamentally, why some people, why, why do I need to invest? Well, unless you don't care about wealth building, you don't care about your future, you just like living day to day, paycheck to paycheck. Okay, then continue. Continue at you know in the direction you're going. But if you do desire more, uh, want to grow your assets, want to pass on a legacy to those who come behind you, if you want to grow your wealth, you need to start investing. There is no other way. There's no other way. Um, if someone has a, a, another way, it's not true. When I say investing, that includes entrepreneurism, investing in yourself, investing in your own business. That's an investment. So um, <clears throat> fundamentally, what I want you to do is start investing. And when I say investing, I, I I fundamentally mean I want you to get a stock market portfolio. Um, the, the ways we invest is, uh, you know, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, real estate. Those are the, the methods, the, the, the places to put your money. There are a lot more way, things you can do. But if you're not investing now, you're not a sophisticated investor. So we don't even need to talk about all those other things. But you do need stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, real estate, in addition to your own business. So that's the method of investing, being an entrepreneur, too. But right now, today, we're just I'm just talking about you getting started investing. So start on the stock market side and the real estate side. So the only way you're going to achieve your goal, whatever your goal is, your goal has a dollar figure attached to it. So the only way you're going to have those dollars to achieve that goal is for you to turn your small dollars now into larger dollars at that point in time when you plan on cashing in on that goal. So if that goal is going to cost you 20000 then you better start putting some money away right now to make that $20,000 goal happen. Because you're not going to just get $20,000 to fall out of the sky on the day that goal occurs. So... We need to start investing so that you can and you need to invest consistently. So when you start, I don't mean like the person I just mentioned a minute ago. Oh, I bought a stock here and there. No, invest consistently. You buy stocks every month on the 5th or the 25th, whatever it is. But every month on a set day of the month, you are buying stocks that are going in your investment portfolio every month consistently your dollar cost averaging that's what that's called if we just invest a fixed dollar amount every month on the same day then we're going to get the best overall average price over time because we get that we're going to get an average cost of all of that investment is going to be lowered because of volatility all right. Um, as I mentioned, the three avenues of you starting to invest is into the stock market, is in real estate, and is in yourself, which is entrepreneurship. So the stock market, uh, that one is probably the easiest one. Um, that is the one. And not to say you don't need help, but it is literally the easiest. Um, I can get you started um, opening your account today and, you know, you'll be funded tomorrow and 
your portfolio will be on the rise. Be, we'll have it building, have it built. We, you will own multiple different companies. You will own shares in those companies within days. Uh, investing in yourself, the entrepreneurship aspect, that is where the heavy lifting comes in. That is where the mental uh, barriers come in. That is where the emotional barriers come in and the, um, the negative beliefs that, uh, you, that you have, those will be uncovered. Those, uh, those mysterious voices that keep telling you, you'll never have enough money to start your business. Uh, you're, never, you're not good enough to uh, run a business. Uh, no one ever want to do business with you. All of these things will continuously go through your head and you just got to fight through them. Period. <laughs> That's what it is. So you need to start investing. The reason you're not doing it is because all of those uh, voices have currently been stopping you from advancing in all three of these areas. In the stock market, oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know where it's at. I, I don't know. Oh, don't I need a lot of money? All of these questions. The answer to all of those are no. Come to me. If you're listening to me now, then you have access to me. Um, there's, a, there's if you're listening on YouTube, there's a link in the description. You, you you can get started. You no longer have a barrier in your way. You can get started. We don't have investment minimums at our firm. Just to let you know. Uh, real estate aspects, uh, depending on who you are and your your personal circumstances, your financial condition is going to determine. Uh, when you're going to be in that real estate investment. But the point is, uh, there's a cycle of money, right? The way it works is the money that you generate from your income, your job should go into the stock market. As the stock market assets rise, then you peel off some of that for a down payment on real estate, investment real estate. As that investment real estate generates you income, you invest that income into the stock market. As the stock market assets grow, you peel off some for another down payment on more real estate investment property. And the cycle continues. And when it comes to entrepreneurship, there's a similar cycle, but that heavy lifting is even more so as it is in it is also heavy with real estate. It takes some efforts on your part is what I mean. There's no uh, way you can just sit back and you make a call and tell your broker, you know, buy me three condos, <laughs> buy me three apartment buildings, uh, you know, cause you don't have that type of money. And, you know, even if you did, how do you want to do it? You know, there's so many factors involved there. So there's that, that component, the, the only way that you're going to, start investing in the stock market and real estate and in entrepreneurship is to improve your financial literacy, your business education is to uh, plan. So you have to engage in financial planning and business planning, and then you need to invest. You need to uh, invest in the market, invest in real estate and invest in yourself. Put your money where your mouth is and not just your money, your efforts, your physical efforts. There are efforts that, it must take place before you, before your be, business becomes a billion dollar corporation. There are actions that you need to take that don't involve you spending any money. There is legwork, there is research, there is writing, there is preparation, there is consultation, there is an interview, there is research that you must do. It don't cost you no money. So if you're serious about it, if you really was going to do it, then do that. You have to have that done before you can even pursue the money for your business. And if the money was there, you can't get it without doing that legwork first. So let's move forward. So right where, right where I was to here, where I was, where my next bullet, stop wasting time. You know, you have to stop wasting time. And because there's a time value of money, time, you've heard this, the, the, phrase time is money that is true there is a time that time and money are connected in in finance and financial education is 
is considered is spoken in terms of the time value of money. There is an actual calculation to show you the time values of money. And uh, you need to become financially literate and understand your investor behavior, improve on your investor behavior, because you do have investor behavior. Even if you're not an investor, that's your behavior. And it's a reason you behave that way. And that is your investor behavior. Your, your investment behavior may be surrounded around fear and and uh, and walking in the dark, not knowing what to do. Maybe even worse than that, that you you didn't even have any insight. There's maybe it doesn't register anything. And so, you know, we need to improve that through financial literacy, financial education, and um, part of financial literacy is the the changing of behavior, the modification of behavior, and that only occurs through coaching, consultation, mentorship, you know, and, and advisory as well. But uh, you need to improve your financial education in part watching this video is doing that as well. Um, try to get, try your best, do it, get over the fear of failure. Because the fear of failure is what paralyzes you and puts us towards inaction. That's what makes clients continue to say, oh, yeah, I, I, I'm going to invest one day. Oh, yeah, not right now. As soon as they got and then, you know, blank, you fill in the blank with whatever. It's always hey, I'm going to invest. I'm going to call you soon as blank. So that's the uh, procrastination is due to the fear of failure. But you must face that fear if you ever plan to succeed. And I'm telling you, let's start succeeding. Let's face those fears. Let's face those monsters. I ain't scared. Let's chop them down. Let's beat them up. Let's get them out of our way. Let's tackle it. But we can do it. And I'm, you know, if you need somebody to hold your hand on this journey, hey, there are going to be multiple financial professionals in your life on your road to success with various expertise that you're going to utilize. So utilize them. And I'm one of them. All right. Uh, there is more access to, in the investment world for today's novice investor. You can get an online account anywhere. So there's really no excuse for not doing it. Um, <clears throat> The amount of money that you can invest nowadays, like I said, we have no investment minimums at our firm. There are other firms that are jumping on board with that model now because the investor, uh, put the, the pool of potential investors is so large now, not just millionaires. It's everyone needs to invest and improve themselves, improve their life and improve their possibilities for the future. So, um, there are a lot of platforms that allow you to invest um, with minimal efforts. And, you know, I can poke a lot of holes in them. But hey, if you're just getting started, I want you to get started. I want you